my name is Ashish and in this video we will see step 7 in which we will see how to enable SSL or TLS on the front end ingress in the Azure Kubernetes service. So the, uh, the security and privacy of user data is a primary concern for the company for which we are deploying this application and it's, it's important that the website allows HTTPS connections to all the customers. We deployed Nginx Ingress controller that will support TLS termination and provide several ways to retrieve and configure certificates for HTTPS. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Cert Manager to enable the encrypt, encryption and uh, we'll deploy the Cert Manager by using Helm. We'll deploy a cluster issuer resource for the Let's Encrypt utility. We'll enable SSL or TLS for the ratings web service on Ingress and then we'll test the application. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I'm going to quickly deploy Cert Manager. Cert Manager is a Kubernetes certificate management controller and it makes it possible to automate certificate management in cloud native environments. Cert Manager supports various sources including Let's Encrypt, HashiCorp Vault, Benafi, simple signing key pairs or self-signed certificate. We will use Cert Manager to ensure the website certificate is valid and up-to-date and attempt to renew certificates at a configured time before the certificate expires. Cert Manager would use Kubernetes custom resources. A Kubernetes custom resource is an object that allows you to extend the Kubernetes API or to introduce your API into a cluster. So we'll use Helm to install Cert Manager and then configure it to use Let's Encrypt as the certificate issuer. So let's start by creating a namespace for Cert Manager. So it would go like this, kubectl create namespace cert-manager. It is created now. Now we'll use the JET stack Helm repository to find and install Cert Manager. So I did Helm repo add JET stack, which is from here. It's added. Now I'm going to update repo update. All right. Now we'll run the, the command to install cert manager. kubectl apply validate false. This is the URL from where it will be installed. All right. Cert Manager CRD. Now we'll install the Cert Manager Helm chart. It will go like this. Let's see how it goes. All right, now will uh, you see the output here? Name, last deployed, namespace, status, and the revision. Now, if you want to verify the installation, you can do kubectl get pods under the namespace third dash manager all right now you see that the cert manager cert manager injector and insert manager webhook pod is in running state it might take a couple of minutes to provision the webhook required for the tls assets now we'll have to deploy a cluster issuer resource for let's, let's encrypt. So Cert Manager will ensure that the website certificate is valid and up to date and will even attempt to renew certificates at a configured time before the certificate expires. However, we need to set up a cluster issuer before we can begin the certificate issuing process. The cluster issuer acts as an interface to a certificate issuing service such as Let's Encrypt. Let's Encrypt is a non-profit certificate authority that provides TLS certificate. Edit the uh, file called cluster-issuer YAML and you know that we do code cluster-issuer.yaml and I would Cluster ISSS UER, and I'm going to paste the content here. You see that the, in the email key, we'll update the value by replacing 
where you see your email. I'm going to replace it with a valid email. So I'll add my email here. And then save it and close the file. Now I will apply the configuration. Okay. It says cluster issued or cert manager created. Now I'm going to enable the SSL TLS for the ratings web service on Ingress. For that, I'm going to pull up, I'm going to replace the content and with the new one. Here it is. So now we'll have to update the ingress IP value in the host key with the dashed public IP of the ingress we retrieved earlier. Let me make a note of it. So it was in my notes and this was the public IP. Here it is. So ingress IP, I'm going to replace it. All right, like this, I'm going to save the file. I'm going to close the editor. And I'm going to apply the changes. Here it is. Hold on. Let's see what I did wrong. I think I updated the IP at the wrong place. Frontend.nip.io. This is right. Hold on. Okay, so it should be dash like they have told me. Okay. Okay. Save. Close. Let me check again. Okay, I, I was uh, missing the IP address at one place, so it had uh, it had to be updated on two spaces. So one on the front end host rule, and then one is here. I was only updating it on the upper line, not on the second line. Okay, went well. Now I have to verify if the certificate was issued or not. So I'm gonna write cube CTL. Describe cert ratings dash web dash cert namespace ratings app. Okay. So you got an output, it had name, namespace, API version, events, status, and everything. So if you will test the application, and uh, so let me do this. Let's, let's do this. Front end dot so it would be 52 dash 170 dash 171 dash 80 and it has HTTPS and the certificate is installed right certificate has a valid certificate details path let's encrypt right here 
right so, so in this video we deployed the cert manager and configured it to use issue let's encrypt certificates automatically we then configured the ingress we created earlier to serve encrypted traffic through the generated certificate i hope you liked this video and in the next video we'll configure monitoring for the aks cluster till next video have a good day and if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day